right, Mark writes, hey guys, I stumbled upon your videos only a few weeks ago and have become an instant fan. My question to the panel is, what has been the most disappointing film you have ever seen that you were actually hyped to see, i.e. Prometheus? First of all, I love that it's just Mark writes. It's like, oh, well, <laughs> did you send to get this a question in? on it. Yeah. I did not send this question in because I don't like thinking about the times that I went to a movie theater, <laughs> super hyped, right. couldn't wait to see the flick, and left crestfallen the first time it ever happened it was like i don't know do i go speak to a counselor now and it was after batman forever i was just like i was like what just what did we blew it what just happened i was so excited i waited an entire semester in school for it to let out school got out that week and then i went to go see batman forever with my friends and we all walked out that u2 song was blaring confusing me i'm like did that just what the what just went down i didn't hear danny elfman score once this mm -hmm. was awful who is joel schumacher and what did he do with the great batman i know and love that's the biggest one for me indiana jones in the kingdom of the crystal skull is a movie Ooh. that i was like because the, the refrigerator explosion thing happens at the beginning Ray, and i'll early. give any movie a pass once i'm like all right it was done it was stupid and we're done let's have an adventure with indiana jones and it just keep get, shia mean, labeouf swinging around with mo monkeys with greaser <laughs> hairstyles remember that it was yeah. like what the, is this the movie sword fighting that looked awful oh my god it was just not a good what movie a nightmare around i'm sorry dennis well i mean phantom menace is an easy one to say yeah. so i'll skip over that one uh, Terminator Salvation. I was hyped to see that. Mm -hmm. Like at that time, Terminator Sarah Chronicle Chronicles was on air, mm -hmm. and I love that show. So I was hyped to see this. The trailers were awesome. They had the Nine Inch Nails song playing. The visuals look great. You had Christian Bale playing John Connor. Right. And then I even went to like a thing before the movie came out that had McGee was speaking about the movie, and he was talking about it. And it just sounded so awesome. And then when I saw it, it was just a bunch of people yelling at each other the whole time. <laughs> really disappointed right. in that one. Get out of my eye line! Yeah. Right? That yeah. yelling is yes. what you're talking about. Yeah. I could see you! You! Get out of my yeah. eye line! Which the funny Christian thing, Bale. The funny thing about that is the only person who really did his job was the DP on that movie. That's right. Yeah, it was very well lit. Um, I'm not going to bring up Phantom Menace, only to say that I did stand in line. <clears throat> for a very long time, not multiple days, but like a couple hours. Yeah, Ten bucks, kid, is coming to my place. <laughs> and I could have just seen it at Ellis's, but I didn't have the cable box back then. In fact, no one did. Um, and I remember staring at my seat while the movie was on when they were talking about taxes or some kind of weird Federation trip, and I was like, I can't believe I'm bored at a Star Wars movie. I was staring at my chair right in front of me. Hated the film. I know most of my friends were brainwashed and came out, wasn't it amazing, Darth Maul? <laughs> Whatever. Double night tape. Shut up, you morons. <laughs> Didn't ever phase me. I hated it from the beginning. So, but here, let's go right to now. Some things I hated recently. The counselor. I remember, hey, it's really mm. Scott. Look at all these amazing actors. My God, it's Fastbender. You got Brad Pitt. Got, I mean, Cameron Diaz. Can, she can do good sometimes. It's like Penelope Cruz. I mean, what is what's going on? Oh, what's going on? It's a horrible garbage film. That's what's going on. That was disappointing. Well, she didn't uh, help a windshield. So, you yes. Had that. that was actually a kind of a cool scene. Uh, now you're bringing up some good stuff about it. But um, Let's Be Cops, another one I actually walked out on because I was so psyched to see the, the trailer made me laugh so many times. We saw the movie and we did that look. Me and Holly were like, we're out of here. It was a garbage <laughs> film. And then uh, yeah, finally, favorite movie or something. Yeah, yeah Cougar let, Life, but we went yeah. together and we, we, we laughed. Sorry. Let's be not funny and stupid and horrible. <laughs> well, okay, um, that's how you want to play yeah, it. Yeah, I do want to play it that way. You know what? <laughs> I'll play the last one, my last card, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Totally bought into the hype, ate every single one of those sandwich trailers, delicious. I was like, can't wait to see this. Mm. Totally makes sense. Oscorp makes all the villains. They finally figured out Spider-Man. What a garbage <laughs> film that is. Total disappointment. Hated that film. The less said about Jamie Lee Fox, along comes a spider. Get out of my life. Wow, man. A lot of energy from hey, you man, in you that think, segment. I'm looking at the, the chat board right now. You guys are lighting the chat board up with your nominations. Thank you guys for participating in the conversation. We got uh, Mortal Kombat 2 is one. A lot of the Transformers movies, Iron Man 2, the Nightmare on Elm Street reboot, and somebody mm. brought up the one that I actually, it's worse than Batman Forever. I repressed it as a memory. Godzilla. 1998, Ooh, the one with yeah. Ferris Bueller and Hank Azaria and a bunch of velociraptors yeah. running around Madison Square Garden. One of the worst takes on anything I've ever seen in my entire life. Thank you, and I hate you at the same time. <laughs> Whoever made me remember that movie that I successfully forgotten about entirely. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.